All right, guys. New game. New game. Today we have Grunenberg. It's only going to be an hour long, which is the first the first short game, because we had the Evil Within, two very long games. We have Fatal Frame. That one was fucking long. Now we got this. Well, Paper Dolls wasn't too bad, but it still took me a good more than four hours. So our first actual short horror experience. Let's dive in and see what it is. So, Mrs. Solomon, could you please recount what happened to you once more? Of course. As I mentioned before, Jimmy. I'm someone who has severed ties with my family. And among the people I've cut ties with is my grandfather, Michael Solomon. Oh, the uh, famous myth answer Michael Solomon, right? Yes, yes, he's the one with such a job. Moreover, he really enjoys disappearing. What do you mean by he enjoys disappearing? I, I enjoy he disappearing. He leave us for the sake of meat hunting. And we hadn't heard from him for almost ten years. Until two days ago. I understand. Yeah, that's what I do. However, this situation changed two days ago, right? Yes, it changed with the letter my grandfather sent to my house. I see. So, um, what did your grandfather write in the letter? He asked me to come to the abandoned area named Grunenberg and capture everything I could. And did you do that? Damn right I did. Damn right I wanted that cursed area. Damn to right. Him. I understand. So, uh, what happened to you out there? A lot of things happened, sir. But first and foremost, my car suddenly Ah, broke that's down. how every good horror story starts. The car broke down. Proceed toward Grunenberg to find your dad, granddaddy. It's a bit dark, but I guess that's the point. Guess we're walking in the middle of the road. Let's just leave the lights on. Oh, oh, that that does absolutely nothing. That's great. Hello? Can't you call an Uber? Does this one still work? I think I'm not the only one with car trouble here. Oh. Oh, more than my car just broke down. I'm actually glad my car broke down. If I would keep on driving, I would have lost my head. Yeah, the flashlight is a bit, um... Well, actually... It makes sense. Oh. Aliens? Oh, this is cool. Goat, goat Bill Gas, Bill Gates. Oh, this is really interesting. What's oh, a gas station? Oh, oh, who's there? Heard something. Uh, F. So, because you're looking through a camera, nothing is... Like, it, it has to focus. Sometimes it's not focused and it's a bit blurry and makes you, like, get closer to the screen. Go! Oh, what the fuck is even happening? I don't, I don't know what happened. That was just sound scaring me. Did I miss something? Am I blind? Hello? What's that? A map? That's the smallest town ever. Okay, we're at the petrol station. Oh, let's go to church. That's always good. I 
I don't know what just scared me. You didn't see that? No. That was nothing, right? You guys are screwing with me. Hi, Argon. Hello. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Is your sexy voice now? Uh, you be the judge of that. It's not fixed yet. Tomorrow it will be fixed, hopefully. But uh, it's a lot better than yesterday, right? Right? Please tell me it's a lot better than yesterday. Still need dinner? That's alright, man. Enjoy. Yes? Okay, that's good. You play with your VSTs? I did. I did. Actually, I did, but I also disabled them again because I couldn't really find the right EQ for my voice. Because everyone you watch is always like, oh yeah, I have, I'm a 12 year old, so I need my bass a lot more up. My voice already has so much bass, it's so deep. Like, when I talk, the whole room vibrates. You know, my girlfriend's want me to speak between their legs. That's how deep my voice already is. Oh my god, what the hell are you? Are you naked? Oh fuck. Okay. But uh, I have another thing that plays with the high mids and lows. It's a three band equalizer that's already built into OBS and that worked. That was nice. It was a lot easier too. What am I hearing? Hello? Is there someone in this closet? No? What is this? I still don't know. I think it's a battery for my... There's like a battery. Is that for the flashlight? I think it is. Don't like to hear myself? I have the same. I think most people don't like to hear themselves. Cut out ranges, your voice isn't in. That's what I did. I uh, did, I think they called a roll off, where you kind of roll into your voice and roll out of it again. That, that's what I did. But, all right, let me explain. My microphone needs 65 decibels, I think. My interface only gives off 50. So what I have to do to make you guys be able to fucking hear me is crank up the gain all the way to the max, which generates noise. It will always generate noise. Um, I now found, I found a bit of a balance by installing the drivers of the interface and playing around in the settings there. Um, to not give it too much noise so it's not all the way up but it's still too far up um, and then with my OBS filters I could gain yeah use the software again to actually get it a lot louder but the best thing I could do was buy a clout lifter or there's other names for it I bought the clout lifter it's just a little blue box that sits in between your interface and your microphone and it will boost the uh, decibels with 25 so I will have 75 uh, without noise or anything so I can I don't have to put the gain knob all the way open and that's gonna be the fix I hope so it's a it's a preamp basically a microphone preamp and they are 165 so I was like I'm not gonna spend another almost 200 euros on my microphone that I paid 400 euros for 
or 350. Um, but I got it second hand for 60. So he sent it uh, this morning. It should be here tomorrow. So that was the story about my microphone. Come again. Oh God. Hello? Oh God, I hate church. What? What the fuck? Um, hello, thanks for coming, I guess. Oh fuck, I'm stuck here. Um, help. Oh, I'm not. I am. Okay, I was up. I can't jump. Oh my god. I think I need to go over there. No, it's completely blocked off. Okay, I guess I just go back. No, I don't. Instructions unclear. Where did I come from? Not here, right? I think I came from that way. But now I'm not sure. No, I have not been here. Oh, is this for the gate? So you're saying that something was wrong there? Well, definitely I in the knew church. That something was wrong. I knew that something was wrong there, sir. However, I had to find my grandfather. That's why I kept moving forward. What caused you to feel this way? The wind, the structures, my heart, even the sound of my own foot all screaming it, sir. All right. Uh, and after the church? Where did you end up? I entered the real part of the area, which was an abandoned nice. industrial zone, just as it had been described. Uh oh, shit's going down. Find a rear exit connected to the hospital. Wrong way. That, that, that percentage of my, I, I guess it's, like, it, I don't know if the, it's the camera I'm looking through or like the flashlight, but it's giving me anxiety in track. I guess it's the flashlight. That's a giant ball. Hello? Do I just wait for the bus? Go down to the pub and wait for it all to blow over? Can I get on here? No. Oh! 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 Um... Excuse me? Sir? <laughs> I'm out? I am five, what? <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh, there he is. Okay, I thought he was gone. Um, man, he sounds heavy. And I don't mean that in, in a bad way. It's just how he sounds. He sounds like he's made out of metal. Eight. Oh, God. Oh god, we're playing Slender. Oh 
Okay, that's a battery. I think I lost him. We have one page with number eight on it. Oh, come on. Can't pick that up. Can't pick that up. Chairs don't do that. I'm tripping. Okay. Um, calm down. That that's it. Oh, there's a book. Oh my god. I can pause the game in the background so I don't lose any of my my, 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 my batteries. Okay. Grunenberg and the Witch Trials. Grunenberg, like other small villages in New England, is a sweet place surrounded by nature. Perfect for relaxing and unwinding. The remains of New... New Mauden? Castle? That, that's also a castle in the Netherlands. Okay. Anyway. Um, located near the village and... Built to protect the local population from Native Americans, further enhance the picturesque charm of the village. However, as tranquil as the village may appear from the outside, Grunenberg has a dark and chilling history. The witch trials that took place in Massachusetts between 1692 and 1693 also struck this small settlement, driving the townspeople into a frenzy and pushing them towards the act of savagery. <clears throat> Although Grunenberg may not have gained as much notoriety as Salem or Ipswich cases, this chain of events, which began in November 1692, came to an end with the burning of 12-year-old Anna. According to the records kept at the time, the villagers came to believe that this young girl was a witch due to her solitary wanderings in the forest. Sudden utterances, her proficiency in reading and writing comparable that of a priest, and even her aptitude in physical sciences such as mathematics... Gerrit van der Meer, this is a Dutch name. The former mayor of the village. Oh, it's like the 1600s, so that makes sense. Uh, convince the town people of Anna's alliance with the devil and her efforts to spread evil, claiming to have witnessed it firsthand. The records explicitly state that Anna's own parents were among those uh, who provided their support. Some sources claim that her before her burning, Anna was pregnant and the identity of the father was unknown. Well, I think he's following me now. Final words noted by the village clergyman in the official documents of that time. Let the fire be as hot as you want. I will take my revenge, whether it is with the devil or with God. Why are people screaming outside? I'm playing games. Shh. I will make whatever pact necessary, but one day I will have my revenge on all of you. Harper Sullivan, 1952. Alright. Witches. There's nothing else I can do here, I guess. Big booty witches. Couldn't he go, like, during daytime? Oh, hi. Are you a miner? No, that's like a... It is. I don't know. Nice to meet you. Can't open. To pass through gassed areas, you must... Oh! Oh, 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 hello. Okay. <clears throat> Fucking Iron Man. I haven't been in here. Close that. Okay, 
what's this? I can't take it anymore. Unwanted things happened, but I had to do it. I had to defend myself. Jeremy had lost his mind. What could I do? While having our dinner, he suddenly went into a frenzy, attacking left and right. He was hurling insults at me, calling me blasphemer and demanding that I help him. Finally, he grabbed a knife and lunged at me. I was terrified. I fought back. It's been a few hours since the pulse stopped. I killed my own friend. I'm a killer, but a killer who understands his victim. Someone is asking for our help. Someone wants us to obey. Someone wants our souls. I hope to find the notes I wrote and immediately leave this cursed place. Michael Adams. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Is that how you killed your friend? No, no, no. Oh, that, that, oh, 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 I get it, I get it. He killed his friend. This is Michael. He's not playing the game. The number of missing persons reaches eight. The case of disappearance at the start in Grunenberg about a month ago. This is in the 80s, by the way. Increasing day by day. Uh, the people of the village and the neighboring villages are hot. Are in a highly tense situation, with individuals too afraid to leave their homes, taking turns to keep watching an organized matter. The local police force is not content with ensuring public order by patrolling the village throughout the day. <clears throat> also embarked on a search for the eight unfortunate individuals who have gone missing. However, despite the police's relentless efforts, where was I? To investigate the area, they have not come across any small clue regarding the missing people or the individuals responsible for the incidents. Yes, dear reader, strange things are happening in the small village called Grunenberg and its surrounding areas. Let's see where the situation will be resolved with illuminated with a rational explanation. Well, we're not going to get one of those, right? It's not how horror games work. I would love to make a horror game that actually has a rational explanation in the end. It's like, haha, ghosts don't exist, you were just... Well, okay, we have a lot of psychological horrors that... Where it's all in your head. So I guess... I, I guess that's there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where the fuck did you come from? Start the chapter over? Oh my god! Water's poisoned. Everyone hallucinates. That's it's kind of the same as I'm not going to spoil anything about other games. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Okay, speed run. All right. Have I checked your butthole? Um. Start with this side. I haven't checked it. Another disappearance in Grunenberg. A missing person. There's no year on this. Uh. A new missing person report has been filed in a small village known as Grunenberg following the disappearance of Emily V a few weeks ago. Last evening, the village's priest Mason also vanished without a trace. The last person to see the priest was the cemetery caretaker who rushed to the police station in great fear around midnight. Reporting that a priest had suddenly gone missing, Sheriff Thompson stated that the cemetery caretaker's mental state seemed questionable, and that they had detained him on suspicion of being involved in the priest's possible murder. Oh. Okay. Nevertheless, police and the volunteer teams are tirelessly continuing the effort to find Priest Mason. Wait, was that... W William... No? Michael Mason? The guy who... I guess we'll find out. Mason? Was that the priest we just saw hanging? Hmm, I think I saw something there. Okay. Cut! Oh, there we go. Gas mask. With G. As a result of rather obscure sensations, I find myself in 
the New England, in a village officially known as Johan Village and referred to, Grunen, uh, to as Grunenberg by the Dutch colonists. See, that's why it made sense. Um, who once inhabited it? Although founded in 1667, this ancient village is in a state of almost complete abandonment. The cases of disappearance that have occurred in this village seem to have robbed us from its glorious days. If you ask why I'm here, dear readers, I would say, why wouldn't I come to a village feared by, uh, for its mysterious disappearances? Being the famous myth hunter Michael Solomon. Well then, my next destination is Grunenberg. Let's see if this forgotten village will be the, another blemish of the worlds of myths. Or will it provide real evidence for the paranormal? Uh, that's my grandfather. I'm glad I died. I didn't want to miss this place. Filled with rich lore. Hello, Icy Polar. How you doing, sir? She's gonna follow me here, right? Just watch others suffer. Oh, oh, thank you. How kind. You're gonna, you're gonna open these two and flush for me. Oh God. Uh, okay. Okay. Safe. Safe. What the? Seven. The first number of the code is seven. Do I have a pen? No, but I have a computer. Oh! He's not coming in here, is he? I don't think he can come inside. <laughs> Sorry. Um. In accordance with your directives, Jeremy and I have arrived at our former establishment. Due to the urgency of vacating the premises, we have noticed that we have left behind numerous materials and vehicles. I'm doing pretty good, man. Pretty good. Almost weekend. Super excited for that. Because in the weekend, I'm going to play more video games. That's all I'm going to do. I have no plans. I'm just going to stream. And I can't wait. Um, we'll probably begin to, uh, loading the essential items onto the vehicles to transport them to the main headquarters. Thanks to our generators, we have discovered that electricity still runs in the facility, untouched by human hands for nearly a decade. Jeremy has already begun uh, listing abandonment materials and vehicles, albeit feeling a bit tense. <clears throat> uh, this forsaken area evokes an unsettling desire within to flee from it. For the murder colossal... Abandonment hospital located nearby only intensifies the inclination. However, I assure you that the thought of returning without complete, uh, completing the assigned task has never crossed our minds. We will strive to finish all duties promptly to embark the journey of the central facility. Oh god, what what is, what's going on? Look. Is this where the back room started? Um... Dava, that's definitely from the 1600s. He's outside, by the way. I gotta be careful. Or at least he was. Yeah, there you are. Cunt. Okay, we have eight. Thanks for waiting for me. <laughs> That's really kind. We got seven, eight. Seven is the beginning of the code. All right. We uh, we've already w uh, been through this, so I'm just gonna run through it. Oh. read all that. Um, okay. Alright, don't get caught. Hi Tamari, how you doing? Welcome in. He 
interacts. Oh! Okay, the last one is one. Okay, so we got seven, eight, and one is the last one. It is like I'm playing Slender. What the crap? What? No! I didn't even hear or see him. Oh my god. Okay, speed run. I gotta grab the gas mask. I got this. Don't worry about it. I don't need to pick everything up. I think. All I need is this gas mask. Yes, I, I've been reading that. What's the goal? That is a very good question. Uh, the goal is finding your grandfather. Who's a Mythbuster and he went to this place and... Well, you haven't heard from him again. And we... we oh, fuck you. Maybe Grandpa is the naked man? Oh, in that case we're done. So we're gonna be this is still gonna be eight right yeah it's, it, it doesn't matter okay so they stay the same I've been there I just wanted to check something what was the name of this guy Michael Adams yeah, okay it sucks that you can't really read them back to kind of like tie together all the names because my short term memory is horrible. Okay, this is the gas place. I have a I have a gas mask. Now we can freely walk through the farts. Through the farts and the flames. Okay, don't know what that did. But Any anys? Yeah. I guess that's all. All right. I guess that's all I have to do. There he is. Aha. Okay. It's a four-digit. Code, but he is on my ass so I can't really okay so I need one more sit on your butt I need one more number I mean I can guess it but that's gonna take a while and he's on my ass so I'll <laughs> better just find it been here, I'm just not sure if I found a code or anything. That's about the eight missing persons. Ah, there we go, three. So, seven, eight, three, one? Or it's seven, three, eight, one. It's either one of those. Alright, sir. Leave me alone. Seven, eight, three, one. Boom! So long, bitch boy. No. Oh. oh, we're at the hospital. It's not following me, right? I gotta check everything, okay? There might be a piece of gold somewhere. So you uh, entered the hospital and moved on? Yes. After that, 
thing behind me, I was thought about turning back. However, however, I needed to find my grandfather, sir. I couldn't leave him in such a cursed place. Yes, I can understand your thoughts, Mr. Solomon. Yes. And, uh, could you tell me a bit more about the thing that was following you? Um, I am absolutely sure it wasn't human. I think it's a power Any ranger. trace of humanity was left in it. Did it want it to harm you? Yes, yeah. I could feel the hatred in it, deep in my soul. It wanted to tear me apart, to take revenge on me. Yeah, not deep I in my soul, but deep soul. in my... Sorry. So, uh, what happened in the hospital? Ooh. Let's find out what happened in the hospital. Grandpa? Hello? Oh, come on. Oh, it's like amnesia the bunker. Bills. I can't hide in here. Yeah, I did add it to the list. Um, I did. It's in the list. Records of the Greenberg Witch Trial. Oh, in this section we will share some court records that have been officially documented and preserved until today. September 16, 1692. Gerrit van der Meer. Yeah, try saying that when you're not Dutch. Um, do not believe in this girl-like appearance, dear friends. Every word she speaks is a lie. Every word is evil. Courtroom crowd whispering among themselves. Anna, no, sir, I am not a bit a witch. Please spare me. Then what do you attribute your solitary walks in the woods, constantly burying yourself in books, speaking nonsensical false information, you little devil? Sir, aren't these things all that all of you do? I cannot understand. We are not you, Anna. We, you are a young girl. And for a girl of your age to engage in such things like walking in the woods can only be the work of the devil. Agreeing in unison. But, silent now. It is evident that you are guilty and now you expect us to believe the lies of the devil you say by carrying a child in your womb? She's 12, isn't she? She's um, <clears throat> it is true, of course. I can feel it. You know it very well, sir. You continue to lie, it seems. Even if it were true, how could I know? No, I'm not lying. This is your child, sir. We were together. Okay. What What are you even saying, you cursed devil? Courtroom crowd, looking at judge in astonishment. Do you see, my friends? Do you see the lies this deceitful little wretch? Even if there is a child in her womb, it must be the devil's child. Agreeing with shouts, cursing the girl. Please, sir, please bury me. No, witch, hell's the place you deserve. I've made my decision, my friends. I have decided to execute this little witch who is an accomplice of the devil by burning her at the stake. Oh, so that's why they burned witches. They... Oh, they got, the, they got them pregnant and were like, fuck, I don't want kids. And then it's easier to just burn the witch at a stake, right? Okay. I thought Anna was like 12, didn't we... See that somewhere? So that makes this story a whole lot more disturbing. What the fuck is that? Is that my grandpa? Are you okay? Are you just taking a nap? Hold up. Has been a few hours since we arrived at the hospital. Um, the place is far from safe. While parts of the hospital remain untouched, others have already begun to decay. Harry and I even managed to secure the laboratory for the research. I don't even want to set foot in the rest of the hospital. Still can't understand how they haven't approved our financial and fiscal support for the research. 
I can comprehend Dean Arthur being angry with us after the incident we last had, but it infuriates me that his personal behavior reflects in this place when it comes to research and science. Because of him, we are continuing our research in an abandoned hospital by conducting secretive work. Moreover, we are doing it in an area with notorious reputation, even rumored to be cursed. Of course, I don't believe in such things, but how? But one can't help but shudder involuntarily. Anyway, I'll catch up with you in my notes soon, Connor. Research assistant Emma O'Reilly. I think I found her. Bandages? No, I can't pick that up. Excuse me. I don't know what I picked up there. I have no idea. Hello. Is that a TV? Hmm. I'm currently temporarily residing in Victor Mansion, the most stunning mansion in Grunenberg. Aside from its physical attributes, the most important aspect for us is that this mansion is where Grunenberg's first missing case occurred. Yes, a young girl named Emily Victor used to live. Oh, Emily is the 12 year old. I can't with these names. Uh, let's see if the situation will provide us with additional information about the myth we're chasing. People, uh, no, no, where am I? Today I had the opportunity to meet some of the last remaining people in the village. The population, which used to reach around 200 people, has now decreased to an estimate of 15. I don't think these remaining individuals are in a good health. After having a conversation with an elderly man who works as a lumberjack and engaging in small talk with other villages, I can easily come to this conclusion. They all gave me chilling looks, filled with fear, and their sudden bursts of anger surprised me greatly. With every action the failures take, I understand what more that I'm not wanted here. But dear readers, this is a good thing, because if you are uh, not wanted somewhere, it means there might be something you would, would desire in that place. Okay. That's the lamp. Is this the Phasmophobia Hospital? I don't know. Escape. Okay. Like now, or...? Be, be, be clearer, ghost. What do you want from me? Do I escape now, or in ten minutes? As the missing cases continue to rise in Grunenberg, the first missing person, a young girl named Emily V, was discovered by a lumberjack living near the wooded areas close to the village. Emily V was taken to the local hospital under police escort, but where she's being questioned and evaluated by psychologists. <coughs> uh, according to the lumberjack, he came across Emily wandering naked in the forest, speaking in incomprehensible language. Although Lumberjack's assumption regarding language is German, this will be further explained in detail by the psychologist at the hospital. Lumberjack also mentioned multiple cuts and burn marks on Emily's body. Brunenberg continues to surprise it with his horror day by day. Let's see what other strange occurrences we've witnessed in this area village. A 72. Interesting. I am so like exploiting a game mechanic by just pausing the game. Oh, thank you. On. I'm just going to write this down. On 0110. Zero Oh! Hello. Excuse me. Oh, I'm stuck. Ah. Hi, Cannoli. How you doing, sir? Oh, this has to be on. Okay. Can I open this? On and then zero one one zero, but 
Where would I use that code? I'm fucked. What is that sound? Okay, I don't really know what to do. Can you move? I think I have to go that way. I'm not sure. Alright, he's not gonna move. Um, so I guess that's why this is here. We gotta loop him around. We gotta do something with the... I don't know, I gotta put a code in somewhere, I guess? Oh, this is so bad. Hello? That's where I came from, right? I have one of these. How's the game so far? Confusing. Oh, I need one more. This has to go on. I need one more of those. Uh, the game is... It's just a lot of story. And the gameplay is just basically running away from a big guy. That That's all it is. Is it bad? Not really. Is it groundbreaking? Definitely not. Is it scary? Not really. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's, it's, it's highly annoying. At some points. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever that may mean. You can't get... Oh! Oh! thought he couldn't get into the rooms. God damn it. Okay. Gotta go fast. I, I got two codes. Whatever they may mean. I don't know. You, sir, go fuck yourself. Come. What the fuck? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that did scare me. I'm scared, Connor. About half an hour ago, Harry told me he was going to take a break into the kitchen into the hospital. I was completely focused on my work at the time. Snacked back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Um, when I heard Harry's screams, I was <laughs> getting... It actually fits. I think Eminem wrote a song about this place. Um, I was uh, about to rush to a site. I had to stop myself when I heard another scream that didn't belong to Harry. I locked myself inside the laboratory. My body is trembling as someone watching me in the room. I don't know what to do, Connor. If someone happens to me, can't meet again. I want you to know that I love you. I wish I would have told you that I love you to your face. Alright, yeah, she's dead now. We found her earlier. Uh, 
Is there anything here? Oh, we got this. Not a little handle? No? Okay. No! Oh, oh, hey, ah. Uh. Ooh, e. Ooh, e. Ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What the fuck? Okay, I see. Yeah, okay, but I'm fucked now. Alright, I got this. The jukes. Let's go. Oink, yoink. Scared me? <laughs> Pussy. Yeah, it got me too. Okay, it's not... No, 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 no. All the way on the other side. <clears throat> I'm starting to understand. I need to... F Where did I find that little handle? I think it was in the room here with Emma. Oh, fuck you. Like, was it, though? I think it was. Yeah, because I said, like, oh, what the fuck did I pick up? Yeah, there we go. I think I picked up another one somewhere. I just I hate opening doors in this game. I don't really know where. Not here. It was in the last room. It was. It's right here. No, it's not. Is it? Huh? Yeah. Okay, that's two. That, that's all I need, right? Okay, so what I do now is I'm gonna turn this off. Boink. And then hopefully the electricity is gone on the other side. And then 2 plus 2 is 4. I think. Alright, come in here. Bet can't open doors. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, there we go. I was right. That's all I need, I guess. Yeah, I thought it was an hour, but it could still be an hour. We could be almost done. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so we got... Fuck. Okay, this is... Okay, get in here. You can't really hide from him, I think. Oh, you're gone. You're not getting in here. You're waiting, aren't you? Oh, that's so annoying. In some rooms, he can't get in, so he just waits. Go! Oh, thank fuck. Alright. We got zero, one, one, zero, and then one, zero, zero, one. One. Two. 
me. So zero. One one zero. One zero zero one. But it's probably the other way around, so God, I am so smart. Puzzle Master 9000. Oh, that's not what doors are supposed to do. Oh, you got you. You want me to run this way, right? I played horror games. Did I though? Just keep running. Yep. Hello. Oh, gas mask. Ah, of course. In the darkest night where secrets lie, I see the devil with his gleaming eye. He whispers secrets only I can hear, filling my heart with the darkened cheer. O oh, Lucifer, my friend so true, in your shadowy embrace, I find my cue. You teach me mischief, you teach me might, guiding me through the darkness of the night. O oh, devil, my ally in this wicked dance, together we shall revel in devilish romance. For I am the child who embraces your might, forever bound to you in eternal night. I am going to use that for a metal song. That's it. That's it. Babies. I hate babies. Well, that's not a baby anymore. That is cursed. Oh, I used to have like millions of these mats, man. They're my favorite. I remember accidentally pooping on one of these. Like I thought it was a fart, but um... Yeah, it wasn't. So completely shit my entire pants and it just leaked through on this uh, on that mat. That's um maybe not a story I I should really share with everyone. But it's true. I should have never gone there so You said the inside voice out loud there. again, yeah. Shit. Mr. Solomon, please calm down. You're not in Grudenberg anymore. This place is completely safe. I know, sir. But fear has completely consumed me. And of course, sadness too. Well, I understand. But don't worry. You're safe now. And the... Uh, when you mention sadness... What do you mean by that? I can't exactly pinpoint it, sir, but I felt like the foundation of the fear there was sadness. As if the whole area had been soaked with someone's tears. Hmm. Interesting perspective. Yeah, he really sounds like he doesn't give a fuck. You mentioned seeing corpses there. Would you talk about them again? Yes. I saw human corpses that seemed to have died recently in Grunenberg. Yes, Emma. So, uh, you knew those bodies, who they were? Not specifically. But well, I, I believe did. they were unfortunate individuals who had ended up in that area. If what you're saying is true, then the case we have on our hands is quite serious. Of course it's serious. The things happening there are beyond what regular people can handle, sir. Please can calm down, handle, Mr. Solomon. Sir. 
Our teams have already headed to the area. Everything will be under control. I hope so, sir. All right. After the hospital, where did you go next? Of course. I went to Grunenberg Castle. But wait, there's more. Find the path to the mansion where your grandpa is. What? Oh god, this is a maze, isn't it? Where my grandpa is staying, I guess? Grandpa? Hello? Grunenberg Castle, known as one of the oldest structures in Grunenberg and even in New England, has made its mark in history. Since its establishment in 1667, it continues to enchant us with beautiful scenery, experiencing the late Renaissance architecture to the core, inhaling the fresh air of its small harbor, witnessing history and the converted old central building, which now serves as a museum, are just a few privileges offered by the small castle. Find yourself in New England, this castle will be a wonderful resting point for both physically and spiritually. Throughout its history, the castle has withstood numerous disasters as fires and floods, undergoing a restoration multiple times, hence it's also known as the Castle of Misfortune. People of Gurenberg say, our hearts and souls are imprisoned by this beautiful place. Now for $600 a night on Airbnb. And this is where they burnt them. Dude, I am just calm, calmly strolling through the castle. You just gotta fuck it up again. Stay outside. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why do I pick up action figures there? Okay, this is really annoying. I want to run through that again because I think I missed something. Maybe I didn't. So annoying. Court records. No, please let me go. Two villagers drag Anna towards the village square. Almighty oh God, you know best what to do with this witch. Purify her soul in the fires of hell. They recite prayers and plead to God. I'm not a witch. I'm just a normal girl. Please let me go. Two villagers bind Anna to the stake. It's too late for your uh, for you to repent. Witch, God will do what is right for you. Have mercy on me. It's not for me, then for the child in my womb. Stop lying, little, little wretch. There's no escape from you. Uh, you will suffer the punishment. Burning alive. Oh, please. One of the villagers hold a torch waiting for a uh, Gerrit command. Uh, says Witch on Fire. The torch is thrown. Anna, engulfed in the rising flames, <coughs> curses the villagers angrily. May God deliver the appropriate punishment upon her. <coughs> um, protect us from becoming like her. Curse all, uh, upon all of you. Upon you, your God. All your loved ones. I will find a way to come back. I will do anything to seek revenge against all of you. Flame intensify. Uh, passage. Recite a passage from the Bible. Roaring flames drown Anna's agonizing screams. And only sound of pure fire spreads throughout the square. May God show her the right path. What a dick. This, uh, it's like, uh, yes. Okay, I can't pick this up. Oh. Oh. I got so much tech in this game. Everything here is related to Anna. According to the findings and documents I discovered through my research, Anna was an ordinary girl. She simply enjoyed reading and learning. She tried to showcase her hunger for knowledge to the people around her. 
However, the villagers labeled it as the work of the devil. They accused her of witchcraft and brutally killed her. In addition, I've uncovered a rather nauseating truth. Anna mentioned that she was pregnant when she was executed. Unfortunately, this cursed thing is that what the little girl said is true. I stumbled upon a few secret letters involving Gerard van der Meer and the village's former, oh, the for, village's former leader. It tickles me to say this, my friends, but I have to come to realize that this young girl was subjected to multiple instances of sexual assault by the higher ranking members of the village. Uh, it was even sanctioned by her own family. Wow, okay. How could I do this to an innocent child? See, it was a child. This story is kind of fucked up. Um... I need to understand Anna better. I must empathize with her experiences wholeheartedly. Um, okay. Yes, I can't go on here. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this trigger warnings are in order. Come on. Go to the mansion where your grandfather stayed. We will play a game. Dick. Dick. There Jeez. you go. Nice. Hi, Terrell. How you doing, sir? We'll play a game together. I have hidden four toys inside the castle. I want you to burn them all to ashes. If you burn them all, I will allow you to see your grandfather. If you refuse to play this game with me, the last thing you want to see is redness brought by your bloody dice. I have two. I have the rabbit and I have the doll. So I need a crow and a t No, I got a teddy bear, I think. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'd burn him in here. I don't have all of them yet. Okay, that's close. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not oh, he keeps walking if you oh, pause the on. game. Okay, I guess we do this. Uh, Grunenberg started to evacuate the consecutive occurrence of missing cases and the discovery of Emily Fee and the initial person in the region. Followed by enigmatic suicide at the hospital. Oh my god. Let's go up here. I don't think he can come up here. Consecutive occurrence of missing cases and discovery of Emily V. The initial missing person is followed by the enigmatic Sudoku at the hospital has led the police to reach a final decision last night. As of this morning, the area has commenced the evacuation process of at a rapid pace. Some villagers vehemently opposed this decision and confronted the police. Subsequently, the, com the police declared that they would not oppose those who wished to remain in the area, thereby managing somewhat the ease of the situation. Individuals owning factories and pro for private properties in Grunenberg and its environs were assured the government support, with the option to retrieve the vehicles from the premises at a later time. It appears that Grunenberg is steadily progressing towards being a desolate zone. Okay, so the, that's why it's a ghost town, I guess. Like, the, yeah, there was a teddy here, I got that. I, I might have everything now. Dehydrate it. Have I been in here? Yeah. No, no. Every day I feel myself become more withdrawn, as if my soul slowly becoming more lonely. I have started to have nightmares that leave me drenched in sweat at night. Initially, these nightmares were melancholic and mostly involved a little girl. I have spread my research across every corner of this abandoned area. I'm trying to piece all the information together, uh, all the information I can gather. Pregnant girl accused of witchcraft and cruelly burned to death. What disturbs me most about this place is with its old and gothic structure are the voices I hear from the beyond. 
Perhaps these are just small tricks my mind plays on me. I cannot be sure, but the cries for the help and laughter produced by my brain I feel so realistic. Which is quite strange. I will continue my investigation for you all. See what else I will discover in this gloomy place. That's the crow. We didn't start by here. Right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really sick of this guy. Is that the town's village leader? Gerrit? Exactly. It's actually my middle name. Not a lie. Gerry is my middle name. <laughs> it's facts. It's a little girl. Who, Mr. Solomon? The culprit of everything there, sir. The culprit of everything happened there is a little girl. A little girl? What do you mean? I don't exactly know, but the sadness and fear I felt during my time there Combined with the childish absurdity of the events, let me think this, sir. She wanted to harm me and cause pain. I'm sure of that. But at the same time, she wants to play games. She wants to involve me. Cack underscore hoofed says Jerry, no, Jerry, sir, Jerry, 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 I understand, Mr. Solomon. So, did you manage to find your grandfather in the castle? I didn't find my grandfather in the castle. But I was getting quite close to finding him. There's more? I thought that was a really short game, but... It's not that short. Must be a reason why I'm king of my castle. How despicable of a creature I am. How despicable creatures we are. We are cold-blooded beings capable of cru such cruelty that we wouldn't harm even a little child. I'm talking to Anna. We are sharing our pains with each other. Feel as though I've taken every one of her wounds as my own. Anna is an innocent little girl and she doesn't want to harm me. But I want to harm myself. With this cruelty coursing through my veins, I don't deserve to live. No, none of us deserve to live. I have to prove my friendship and loyalty to Anna, but before that I need to do something else. I have summoned someone I have been very close to lately by sending them a letter. I asked my grandson Jimmy to come with a camera to record everything. Made an arrangement with someone from town to deliver the letter to Jimmy. Everyone needs to know what has happened here. All the pain Anna has endured. Everyone must understand the spickable creatures we have become. The story is really good, but it's really messed up. Uh, condemned, add weight to it, okay. Oh, fuck. I uh, restarted my PC. Did I save the... Yes, I did. Okay, good. So, condemned is somewhere up here. Let me add, add some weight to it. I just do... It's condemned. Not on this version. 
See, I, I, I'm missing some games I put on here. I think Condemned is not on there either. Kidding me. No, it's not. Ah, damn it. Condemned. Well, it's a good thing you did that because it wasn't on there. Alright, it's a little bit bigger now. And then we have... Hugo was... 3. I gotta... I gotta back this shit up. Where's Hugo? 3. And Michigan was 2. Yeah, okay. I, I don't have Condemned twice on it now, right? No. Okay, weird. Um, I gotta save after everything I do. Oh, so annoying. Yes. Condemned. Yeah. Um, everyone must... Yeah, okay. So my grandfather... Asked me to come here with the camera. But is he still alive? Pretty. Hello. And interact with that. Oh, there's a door there. I didn't even see it. just happened there <clears throat> oh my god that just sent me straight to Narnia oh oh my god okay anyway um, just looked away for one second well be happy within me burns a fire filled with a dark disdain Seeking revenge, bitter taste, my heart bears a wounded pain. For humanity's deeds have cut me deep, in pact with the devil, my fury I'll keep. My tears have dried, despair I now embrace, lost in anger's clutches, innocence raised. In the devil's trap, a helpless child, drawing strength from him, vengeance runs wild. I dance with the darkness to tune the revenge's score, the devil's breath upon me, night's ally at my door. My eyes hold my sorrow, my heart knows hate, feeding on anguish, the wounds within great. The quest for revenge I may have lost myself, a sorrowful child ensnared in the devil's cruel stealth. But within me lies hope, steadfast and true. One day, my own light will shine, and I will be born anew. Thanks for that clip, because I honestly don't even know what happened. Was that... Was that Lisa from... Phasmophobia? Was that the same model? It looked like it. I'm Either way, sorry, grandfather. I'm no, late. no. Oh my God, is that how he died? You, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. This is how we went. Okay, let's. There's a note. Wait, did he do it himself? I couldn't do it. I couldn't pull the trigger. Oh wait. Instead of seeking a quick death, I shut my leg, hoping to taste death slowly and perhaps dream of my life once more before dying. With the pain and bleeding, I barely managed to crawl out of the bathroom, make my way to the bedroom. The pain is increasing with every passing second. I'm starting to lose feeling in my leg, slowly dying. Didn't make any sense. With the last bit of energy and resistance left in my body, I am writing these lights, Jimmy. Please don't be saddened by this. I want it to die. And I still do, but I'm no longer want it to be a slow process. Uh, I will beg Anna to give me a swift death. I hope she fulfills my final wish, being a wretch, being a wretched being like me. Oh, no. 
Grandpa. Okay. Got a key. Is that everything here? Yes, it is. Now, this is where he shot his leg. That's why the gun is on the ground. Can't pick it up. Got key. You can't use it here. Oh, that's uh, the way out. Ben and Region Grunenberg are region evacuated three years ago due to a series of missing persons and mysterious events. Nowadays, it has lost both its reputation and its former glory. The village population has dwindled to an estimated 20 people, and all the businesses in the surrounding area have ceased operations. The number of adventurers, explorers, and travelers who used to fish the region decreased day by day. The existence of Grunenberg seems to fade from people's memories entirely. Even the few companies that have once had factories in the area occasionally drop by, further proving that. Hardly anyone approaches the place. The main access road uh, only means transportation to the region have begun to decay and fall into disrepair. To, um, as days go by, it appears Greenberg's memory will soon be completely erased from the collective consciousness. So, is this a real place? And are these pictures real? I think it is. We'll check after, but I think it is. One wonders when this cursed area will vanish entirely be forgotten in the dusty pages of history. It's kind of like uh, Welcome to Kowloon, right? I think. that That's a real place. Oh my god. I'm out. What was that? What I had crap? finally found my grandfather. My condolences, Mr. Sullivan. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Why do you think your grandfather, you know, took his own life? That thing must have manipulated his mind. It must have taken control of his mind and forced him to end his own life. I can't see any other explanation for it. Yeah, it's a possible scenario. But even when someone's mind is manipulated, taking one's own life is a very difficult thing to do. Not in Grunenberg, sir. It's such a gloomy place that it could make anyone find the idea of death appealing do you think that way as well no no i don't i understand after learning about your grandfather's situation what did you do after that sight there was only one thought in my mind sir and what thought is that mr solomon to get the hell out of there of course Every second I stayed there felt like years. Yes. The only thought on my mind was the escape from there. Well, did you? Did you? Are we gonna escape now? Yep. Move towards your grandfather's car. Oh, that's the Even car we I saw. Know, I would spend some channel oh, points to say you are doing a wonderful job playing through this game. So well done. Aww. On another note, it might be the camera, but there appears to be something on your face around your nose area. A stray fish hook, maybe? That's, um... I've had a horrible fishing accident. Don't want to talk about it, okay?
It was the great fishing of 2023. It was a cold summer night. Fisting accident. No, that was 2022. Poopies. That was unnecessarily loud. God damn it. Yeah, I don't want to enter that. Just find a car. I thought this was going to be a nice, calm escape sequence. I died? Right be No, no, no. I just left the camera. I think. You were able to escape with your grandfather's car. Yes. Using everything I had, I managed to get out of that cursed place. Well, you're safe now, Mr. Solomon. No one can harm you here. I know, sir. It was supposed I to be on the list, guys. It was then, supposed uh, to be there. Did anything happen to you while you were escaping? No. Nothing happened. I understand, Mr. Solomon. Commissioner, there's an emergency, sir. Speak. We lost contact with the teams we sent out. What are you saying? Come and see for yourself, Commissioner. Mr. Solomon, unfortunately, I'm facing an urgent situation, but I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, sir. I'll be waiting for you. I am here, Anna. I'll never leave you alone. I am ready to do whatever it takes uh -huh. to get your revenge. That was that was not bad. That was fun. I had fun. I Yeah, is it just one guy? Okay, two. Let's just say you can barely call this a team, right? So for just a few people, I I see two people on there and one who helped with dubbing, I guess. This is great. The story is really dark though. Um, I did not run into any trigger warning, so people might get mad about that. But it's a good, it's a good game. I liked so, it. Mrs. Solomon, could you please recall what happened to you? We Yeah, the, there is a um, trigger warning, but it's not a correct one. Guys, we're gonna spin the wheel again. <laughs>